We are live at the African American Travel Conference here in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm fortunate to have Ms. Karen Aaron of the Green Book Experience with me today. Karen, why don't you start by telling our group a little bit about what you're working on? So the Green Book Experience is a fantastic, fantastic project. But I have to tell you how we got here. So the project was inspired by the original Negro Motorist Green Book from 1936. So Victor Hugo Green put together a directory for African Americans to use as a travel guide traveling through the Jim Crow South. And this, this publication was in uh, circulation between 1936 and 1964. And it was widely used because it was a lot of places that you just couldn't safely travel. So what we did, um, we decided that we're going to go back through this original book. We're going to identify some of these locations that are still around today. And just really pay homage to the work that he did to make these spaces safe, but also include other locations that include indigenous communities, other persons of color communities, persons of uh, small, small and local businesses inside of those communities. So it's an amazing project because it's an expansion of what the original book did, but also celebrates and gives a guide to those that love cultural travel. Well, that sounds like you have a lot going on right yes. now, a lot that you're working on. Now, how are the groups working with you to help get this off the ground? So one thing that we were very intentional about our partnership with Group Collect, what we knew was that the, FI, the FIT and the leisure travel, this is going to be an easy find. But we wanted to make sure that when a group travel planner is putting together an itinerary, they know exactly what's in that destination. So often, outside of the larger cultural attractions, you don't know the little guy. You don't know some of those smaller references to that community that are not widely known. So our role is to make sure that we identify those locations. So when a, tr a group travel planner is putting together an itinerary and you're in D.C. or Louisville or in St. Louis, you can find that small operator that's there. And it may be something as small as a walking tour. It may be someone that's maybe off the grid or somebody that's very hyper-local. But we wanted to make sure that they were being represented. So when you're planning that itinerary, now you have choices and you can make a decision on how you're going to support those little guys too. Okay, so what I'm hearing is this is going to apply across not just this conference, but all of our that are this is something yes. everyone can Absolutely, absolutely. And it's interesting because so often we misunderstand what the group travel market is to the destination. We always talk about economic impact. We always talk about destination development. And a lot of times what destinations do is that they want you to enjoy the authenticity of that experience. So by a group coming in and going to that small local shop, or walking and hear the, you know, hear stories from people who live there. It just expands on that travel experience. So we're excited to go ahead and partner uh, with the group travel family, work alongside Group Collect, make this easy for you all for, for buyers to find these experiences and share it with your passengers and with your attendees. Because I guarantee it'll be a worthwhile experience, different from what they may or not already have. Just for those who haven't had the chance to say. Where can they find you and continue learning about the project? So there's two great things. So you can go always go to our website, which is greenbookexperience.com. You can always find information for us and the team. You can also follow us. We do have social media. We have um, an Insta Instagram page, Facebook page, and a Twitter page. So we're definitely doing that. We're also is going around and uh, going into different um, cities and working with different, different destinations to uncover their hidden stories and gems. So just reach out and find us. One thing that we, de we definitely wanted to do with this project, that if you are a group travel operator, if you, um, you work in this travel space, we're going to have a business directory that we can list your product complimentary. Because what we knew about this Green Book is that this is a listing of small businesses from, like I said, 1936. So we want to make sure that we feature you, that we support you across the board for anybody who's looking for an operator or a bus group or a group travel um, uh, organization to help them with their services. So we're very inclusive, very open, and we definitely want to make sure that everybody is supported.